So, guys, there's a name being thrown around in the traps. A name I hadn't really heard of, but a name I've, I've heard a lot about in the last week. His name's Urban Meyer. I'm here apparently about 30 minutes ago, literally 30 minutes ago. Jacksonville Jaguars, the team that I back in the NFL, and the team that I'll back for good, for life, has just hired a brand new coach. So it's about time I learn a bit about this guy. Urban Myers. It's an interesting name. Um, I feel like he's probably got a, a, an illustrious college football um, coaching career, uh, if not NFL career too. He is the Jacksonville Jaguars head coach. I'm assuming he'll be there for a few years. Look, I, I couldn't say. I couldn't say he's coming in. They're expecting something big. Trevor Lawrence is going to be the number one pick. All good. If he picks him, who is Urban Meyer going to pick? Is he going to go for Trevor Lawrence or is he going to go for Najee Harris. Honestly, that pretty much that's the only other guy that I'd, I'd want. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna say no to a quarterback, I want Najee Harris. But let's get into this. Okay, so guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm just doing a bit of editing today. It is the 15th of January. It's 1:25 in the evening, and. Um, <clears throat> I've just gotten a couple of messages uh, through Instagram and uh, I do want to shout you guys out not by name but certainly by passion passion for the game and passion for telling me things that you think I'll be interested in and I'll tell you what guys there is one thing I am interested in right now and it's the Jacksonville Jaguars and it's who's gonna take them to the 2021 Super Bowl okay alright I'm gonna say it right now the Jaguars or the Jaguars. The Jaguars. Alright, the Jaguars. The Jaguars. The Jaguars are going to make the 2021 slash 2022 NFL playoffs. No, they may not be top of their division, but they'll make the playoffs. That is my prediction, and I'm telling you right now. I've been, look, look, I'm not going to call myself a Mystic Mac. But I am going to say, well I probably could actually, my last name's McDonald, but um, actually Mystic Mac, I don't mind that. I'm going to say, first and foremost, good luck to the Jacksonville Jaguars, good luck to Urban Meyer, and let's hear, let's hear what this cunt has to say. Because, to be honest mate, um, I didn't know a hell of a lot about the last coach, but all I heard was, was well nothing good, to be honest. Okay, let's go Urban Meyer and see what comes up. First look, first look, absolutely no idea who the guy is and no idea what he looks like, but there he is! And it wasn't 30 minutes ago, it was 7 hours ago. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars, look at this. Okay, we've got a video by NFL, we've got a video by ESPN, we've got a video by the Pat McAfee Show, No Mercy, and last but certainly not least, the UCF Jaguar. Mate, this is my shout out to your channel. If you do follow the Jags guys, if you do want to follow the Jags, if you want to know anything about the Jacksonville Jaguars, okay, you want someone who lives on site, well not on site, but around the, around the area, uh, he's been there for his whole entire life, he went to UCF, he's an ex-football player, I'm led to believe, and he knows his fucking football, and he knows his Jaguars. So me and him, we're definitely back in the same team. Um, we're back in the right team, I think, I feel. Uh, into this next year. Okay, so uh, UCF Jaguar, UCF Jaguar, sorry, has two videos. One's titled Jaguars Closing In on HC or Head Coach Urban Meyer. And uh, nine hours later, there's a video that's just been put up nine minutes ago. Nine minutes ago. This guy has 10,000 subs. Congratulations, by the way. He's put up a video nine minutes ago. And it's already got 251 views. Now that is... Now that is a captive subscriber base, if I ever did see one. Okay, first video, Jaguars closing in on head coach Urban Meyer. Alright guys. If we can just stretch, stretch you out a wee bit mate, uh, we can cover the screen here. Honestly guys, I will say that this is probably in this whole you know, journey into American football of mine, 
This is probably the first time I've actually ever cared, honestly, um, wholeheartedly about a coach. And it's the first time I'll ever actually do a full reaction on a coach. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense. It's the Jags. They're my team. And there is one thing I need to do before doing this. Hold on. Nick minute. Okay, here we are. Let's continue. Urban Meyer. Now a lot of you guys out there know who Urban Meyer is, for a start. And um, well, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I don't know much about the owner of the Jags. I know that he's got a big moustache, I'm led to believe. But apart from that, I don't know too much else. So, I, you know, all I hope is that this decision is a calculated decision. Um, and I do need to just see if Doug Marone was the, was, the, was the last coach. I do need to, I just need to confirm whether this name that I've got in my head, Doug Marone, I feel like that was the last coach. Boom, okay, Doug Marone, big Doug Marone, six foot five, um, 56 years of age. Can you imagine your head coach being six foot five and 275 pounds? Went in the sixth round of the 1986 draft to the Miami Dolphins. Played at the Saints, played at the London Monarchs. And as coach went through uh, Cortland State, Coast Guard, Northeastern, Georgia Tech, Georgia, Tennessee, New York Jets, New, New Orleans Saints, Syracuse, Buffalo Bills, Jacksonville Jaguars, and now he just got fired. Um, he's been a, he's been through a fair few jobs, guys. In fact, he's been through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen different tenures in about twenty nine years. I suppose that's not too bad. I suppose that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to listen to UCF Jaguar explain um, explain before the deal happened and explain after the deal happened. Following that, we'll look at a few stats and we'll, um, we'll call it a day. So we got the big news that we've been looking for. Um, I guess it isn't finalized or anything yet, but um, according to Adam Schefter, the Jaguars and Urban Meyer are basically right now, they're just looking to finalize on a deal to basically bring Urban Meyer um, to Jacksonville. Right now, what's taking so long, I guess they're trying to iron out the details of the contract, uh, which is something that I definitely expected. I know a lot of people were really stressing about the fact that it's been seven, you know, it's, it's, there's, we've been so long removed from like really Black Monday and stuff like that. We're what, 10 days removed from it. And, you know, there's still no head coaching hire. I hadn't been freaking out too much just because like... What's Black Monday in football? Black Monday in the NFL for the 2019 season will take place on Monday, December 30th. Black Monday, not in the stock market, but as far as football... Okay, here we go. The day following the final Sunday of the National Football League regular season, on which numerous coaches and general managers of underperforming teams are fired. Their contracts have expired without renewal, or they re-sign their positions. Okay. The first Monday following the end of the regular season. Like literally there's still seven head coaching vacancies in the NFL right now. That's over 20% of the league does not have a head coach. And I know us fans can kind of be impatient with this kind of stuff, especially when we're not really in the knowing. Uh, but apparently, you know, it's Urban Meyer's the only guy that the Jaguars won at this point. Shot cons uh, basically all his uh, searches has led up to this point, and this is what he wants. And, you know, Urban Meyer is also very, very interested. Right now, they're just trying to finalize really on, I guess, the fine contracts of the deal. They met again yesterday, and, you know, it, it should start becoming more official as time rolls on. And, you know, this was really an awesome report. Uh, we had nothing concrete. We just basically had people saying, oh, you know, this is what we're hearing. Uh, and just nothing concrete, but finally we get a little bit more closure as to, you know, what's going on in the situation. So I know Urban Meyer is one of my guys, just, you know, he's a winner, program builder, builds great coaching staffs, and I mean, at the end of the day, he just wins, you know I mean? This is a he just win, that just the win. Wars, like, as an organization should take, um, just given the, just the franchise's history of just losing and especially just over the last decade and we need someone like this to be able to come in here and change the way things are run so 
Yeah, huge news from the Jaguars front. Um, if anything official breaks, I'll come at you guys um, later today, obviously, with a video. But um, this is awesome news. This is a big bomb. So um, let me know what all you guys think, and go Jags. Boom. All right. So that was exactly 10 hours ago. Now, this, this video clip was put up 30 minutes ago. Uh, not quite. This one was. Alright guys, so it is official after it got teased to us early this morning uh, about Urban Meyer getting hired to the Jaguars. Okay, there's one thing I do. Where have the Jacksonville Jaguars come, man? Where have they come? In the standings. Each year. Holy shit. Read this. This is ESPN's listing on the Jacksonville Jaguars as a team. Okay. Oh my god, they got one. Oh my god, they won their first game of the season and lost every single other game. That's just. That's. That's absolutely fucking terrible. But that's okay. Um, new Jacksonville coach. New, new Jaguars coach, Urban Meyer, is officially quoted as saying Jacksonville has an enthusiastic fan base and the fans deserve a winning team. With upcoming opportunities in the NFL Draft and strong support from ownership, the Jaguars are well positioned to become competitive. I've analysed this decision from every angle. The time is right in Jacksonville and the time is right for me to return to coaching. I'm excited about the future of this organisation and our long term prospect for success. Well alright then. About what, 8.20, 8.25 am it got teased to us and now officially about 10, 11 hours later, it's happened. Urban Meyer has officially become the fifth or sixth full-time head coach. I forget which one it is, but um, he is now officially, as per the Jaguars website, as per Shot Khan, and as per Urban Meyer himself, Urban Meyer is now the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, and it is unreal. I mean, I am extremely excited. As you guys all know, this was like my number one guy from the start. I mean, Urban Meyer basically said that he had been flirting with, actually, let me go ahead and read you the exact quotes. Okay, so Shad Khan said, this is a great day for Jacksonville and Jaguars fans everywhere. Urban Meyer is who we want and need. A leader, a winner, a champion who demands excellence and produces results. While Urban already enjoys a legacy in the game of football that few will ever match, his passion for the opportunity in front of him here in Jacksonville is powerful and unmistakable. I am proud to name Urban Meyer the new head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, we'll stop it there. And I do want to—I want to look this guy up because I tell you what. If Shard Khan likes him, then maybe I'll like him. How do you spell his name? Urban... Ah. Urban... Meyer. Urban Frank Meyer the third, believe it or not. There he is. Born, born July 10th, 1964. Oh, sup, bro? Ohio State. I like it. I like it a lot. A former player who is the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars in the National Football League. Meyer previously served as the head coach of the Bowling Green Falcons. The Utah Utes, Florida Gators, Ohio State Buckeyes <gasps> for nine years until 2019 and from 2019 to 21 he was employed by Ohio State University as their Assistant Athletic Director of Athletics Initiatives and Relations. Assistant Athletic Director of Athletics Initiatives and Relations. Okay. And was also an analyst for Fox Sports. He was born in Toledo, Ohio. Attended the University of Cincinnati, played football as a defensive back. During his time at Florida, he coached the Gators to two BCS National Championship game victories during the 2006 and 2008 season. His winning percentage through the conclusion of the 20, 2009 season was 0.842, or 84.2%, and was the highest among all active coaches with a minimum of five full seasons at a football bowl subdivision program. Following his temporary retirement in 2011, he worked as a college football analyst. Um, in 2004, 2014, he led the Buckeyes to the first Big Ten Conference title and the program's eighth national championship. He's one of three coaches 
with the others being Pop Warner and Nick Saban to win a major college football national championship at two different universities. Okay, so he, he, he wins. He does win. He, he breeds success uh, wherever he goes. I can't believe he was at Ohio State for that long. That's really cool. That is really, really cool, guys, because if you ask me what my favorite college football team is, it's Ohio State. And if you ask me what my favorite NFL team is, it's the Jacksonville Jaguars. So need need we say need we say more? Like really? Really? Well alright then. And then next up is an actual quote from Urban Meyer. Um, this one I got this I, this is a tweet I read from Adam Kaplan. Um, basically Urban Meyer says, I'm ready to coach the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville has an enthusiastic fan base and the fans deserve a winning team agree with upcoming opportunities in the NFL draft number one pick multiple first round picks second round picks fourth round picks all that good stuff with the upcoming opportunities in the NFL draft how about we get Trevor Lawrence and Najee Harris strong support from ownership the Jaguars are well positioned to become competitive I've analyzed this decision from every angle the time is right in Jacksonville, and the time is right for me to return to coaching. I'm excited about the future of this organization and our long-term success. Boom. Those are powerful, powerful words. Obviously, I think Urban Meyer has been really contemplating the whole jump to the NFL for a while, but I know that he could pretty much, I mean, he can he can pretty much demand an interview anywhere, and he's going to get a look. I mean... Uh, and it really took him, he needed to find the perfect opportunity. That is so sick to hear that this guy has had so much success in his, his you know, coaching career. He could definitely, you know, either get the job or at least get a look in at any team that he goes for. And he's chosen the Jacksonville Jaguars. He didn't need to choose them. I'm sure there was other options available, right? But he's seen something there. He sees the opportunity, he sees the fan base. Um, with the right situation. And really right now where Jaguars are essentially a clean slate. Clean slate for sure. He knows he's going to be able to draft Trevor Lawrence, not Justin Fields. Let's stop that rhetoric right now. Justin Fields is not coming in here. It's <laughs> Trevor Lawrence and just the opportunities that he has to not only not only build a team, but like this this team is one in fifteen right now. We're coming off one in fifteen. We are rock bottom. Not There's bad. No not good, sorry. Go Pretty bad. But up right now. And he looked at this, and this was the most attractive job in the NFL for Urban Meyer to really come over here. I mean, there were talks about him in Los Angeles, but he would not have gone to the same situation the Jaguars were in in 2013. You know what I mean? Where there was no quarterback in sight. There was just nothing on the roster. I mean, this roster, we got some decent young talent. You know, when you look at offensively, LaVisca Chennault after his rookie year was great. James Robinson after his rookie year was really good. Um, you have, obviously, DJ Chark. Um, you have some guys on the offensive line to work with. And most importantly, you got your quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. There's still, obviously, a lot of work that needs to be done. And really, the next step is really trying to pin down a GM. But really, obviously, this comes with some risk. There, but honestly, like, obviously, the thing is, like, you know, it's, it's risky. You know, you bring in Urban Meyer and it's obviously risky because people are worried about the health thing and that's a very serious concern. Um, we might have to sit here and understand that, look, we might only get five, six years out of this guy. Um, but in the day, every single place he has gone, he has won and had a... What, before he dies? So on December 4th, 2018, he announced that he would retire from coaching following the team's Rose Bowl game due to health reasons. And here we are, two years later and he's still going. Bowling Green, Utah, Florida, Ohio State. He, him and uh, Saban are the only two coaches with national titles at different schools. He comes in there and wins. He's a program builder. You know, we have no culture right now. And we have a losing culture, if anything. Um, but he's going to be able to build something. He, he knows how to build a coaching staff. You know, he's got a great coaching tree out there. Um, and you guys can all, you know, kind of see it for yourself. Um and great offense. What I do want to ask, mate, is how blinding, on a scale from 1 to 10, is that halo light right behind the camera? Because I can see it right in your eyes, mate. Look at that. 
the mind. It's kind of, kind of scary. Uh, and <laughs> it's honestly, it's the honestly the greatest. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Look, mate. I think we've got the gist of it. I think we've got the gist of it. I I hate to stop a video early. I hate to stop a video early, but hey, you'll forgive me, I know you will. Um, there you go, the Jacksonville Jaguars hire Urban Meyer as head coach. Now, there is actually a video on the NFL channel. We've been talking about it all day. Do the Jaguars officially have a new head coach? Urban Meyer now the official new head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars just coming well, cheers, mate. All right, there's going to be a fair bit more research for me to do, but this was just a, a real-time video, clearly. Uh, it's going to come out today on the channel. It's the 15th for me. It's the 14th for you. And, um, well, I'll better get to editing it. So thank you for being here. I'm repping the Jags well into 2021 and beyond. And uh, Trevor Lawrence, loads of picks in the draft. We've got Robinson, a running back who's killing it. And, um, and we've just hired a, a, a new head coach, Urban Meyer, who's got a winning mentality. I feel good. I feel good about this coming season. Guys, thank you for watching once again. Um, please keep enjoying the Top 100 videos. They will continue to come out until they're finished. So I will see you when I see you. Peace out.